another idiot move here. Um, just broke the laser. I was trying to run another cap for the boxes. And I was taking it off the spoil board. And really, I think my problem was, I should have never set this up this way, but this is where the power plugs in for the laser. I should have had it oriented up this way and mounted here. But anyway, pulling that piece off the board, it comes loose all of a sudden and I hit this and pulled one of the um, posts loose on my power jack. So now the laser is disabled. I'm gonna see if we can solder this back on and uh, maybe uh, recover the situation. If not, we'll have to order another board for that. Trying to get this to zoom in here and focus. But you can see this little post here to the right is pulled loose from the board. So hopefully, we can solder that back in place. The others look like they're in place, so let's try it. Well, let's try to get this thing back together. I already got some solder on there, or sorry, flux on there. Um, hopefully, we can just reattach this pad. If not, we're going to have to order a whole new board. But check this out. Radio Shack brand rosin core solder. My generation is all about bringing back, you know, nostalgic stuff from the 80s and 90s. Can we please, for the love of God, bring back local electronic shops? That would be awesome. Let's work on that. All right, so we got a real small tip on the uh, soldering iron. This is the uh, IU INT968A SMD rework station I use for a lot of electronic stuff. Uh, sorry, the focus is terrible on that. So we're gonna we're gonna tin this a little bit. Get a little uh, solder on there. Now generally, and there are a million different arguments, I'm sure. I like to do electronics around 370 Celsius on this. So that's where I have my temp set. And I've already got my flux on there. Let's just see. And I am not turning on the smoke absorber because it's going to sound terrible if I do. But I probably should. The bad thing is I can't see anything in there. This is a really awkward position I have to work in. I'm gonna try my best not to block this, but I'm probably going to a little bit. I really wish I didn't have the smoke absorber on here right now. Let's see if we can turn it. Oh, it might fit this way. It's still not sticking to the pad. We may not get this thing to work, kids. I mean, this should easily have it up to temp. We might just be totally boned on this. Probably what's happened is it's partially pulled up the tracings on this board. And it's... Uh, Secured to this metal frame, this aluminum frame, with some heat sink material. And I was trying to avoid pulling that off, prying it off. But we may just have to do that. 
So, got a little zoomed in here with a camera. And you can see this is actually a little more than just that pad separating. That whole tracing is pulled off of the board. After I contacted Sane Smart, I decided I'm just going to take it out of that heat sink. And, um, you know, the thermal tape, you know, came off relatively easy, so it wasn't too big of a mess. And then what I did was uh, sloppily and hideously solder that point and um, both sides of the tracing that it pulled loose. I just kind of scraped um, some of that layer off of the uh, tracing to expose the copper underneath. I plugged this in. It does turn the fan back on the laser. So we're going to reinstall this. I'll probably put something on the edge of this solder joint here so it's not making contact with the heat sink. I don't imagine that's going to work well for that circuit. And then maybe it'll work until we get apart. See, kids? That's why it's important to be too stupid to quit. Sometimes things just work out when you keep hacking at it.